Yo guys, what's up? It's Phil from Prodigy Productions and in this tutorial I will show you how to do a cool tile for intro or whatever. Okay, we are here in Adobe After Effects CS5 and first of all I want to create a new composition. Uh, here we go. I will use a preset and this is HDV 1280 by 720, 29 frames per second. Duration doesn't matter. Hit OK. <coughs> now, first of all, let's create a background for our title. Okay, we make a new solid and make this solid uh, a little gray brown mix. Yeah something like this. This should be okay. And now let's make a new adjustment layer. Uh, we're going to add an effect to it, color correction, curves, and also a mask, an ellipse mask, and double click on that. <coughs> uh, show the masks here. So now we have our mask. Now we can play around with the settings of our curve. So let's pull that down, something like that. And now let's just feather out our mask, like about 450 pixels, and change the mode to subtract. So that is our background. Just uh, mark these two comps, go to layer, precompose, and call our precomp background. Hit OK. So that is our background for our title. OK, now let's go to the title. Uh, we took the text tool and yeah, just type whatever you want. In this case, I'll type breeze. So that's okay. Now uh, you have to pick the pen behind tool and move the anchor point to the middle here. So that's okay. Okay, now let's just change a few settings of our text. Mark our text and do the color like gray, uh, bright gray. Uh, the size of our text should be 104 or something something like that. Yeah, just move the pen behind tool to the middle. So, something like here. Okay, uh, that's it for now. Let's uh, center up our text, mark our text, hit P for the position. And our position should be 629.9 by 470.7. So that should be the middle of our comp. Okay, so now let's just see. Let's add an effect to it. Go to the effects, generate, and then add a ramp. Or you can search it here in the effect and presets, whatever you want. Okay, now let's just uh, change the start of the ramp to 640 like it's here by 246 and the end of the ramp by uh, 640 by 510 and let's change the colors the first color should be a uh, uh, gray reddish gray something like this and the second color should be a dark red. So let's see a little bit brighter, something like this. So this should be okay and work well. Okay, now go to the text settings. Go first of all to the transform and change the scale of our text to 149.9. So it's a little bit bigger. Uh, let's change the opacity of our text to 44%. And now uh, we go to the 
to the layer uh, layer styles yeah that's what I'm looking for okay so to get to there mark our text hit the right uh, on your mouse and then go to layer styles show all so that shows you all your layer styles for this tutorial we need uh, to turn on the eye on layer styles on drop shadow on inner shadow and on inner glow so that's what we need to turn on okay so let's play around with these settings first of all we go into the drop shadow okay in the drop shadow our uh, blend mode should be normal the color is okay the opacity should be 100 percent the angle should be minus nine four and yeah what's the distance should be three and the size should be zero so that work well for now let's go to the inner shadow and play around with these settings let's change the transfer mode to normal then change the color from black to white hit OK then change the opacity to around 60% that would be okay change the angle to minus 90% change the distance to 2 and the size to 0 okay that's it now go to the inner glow let's close the inner shadow for now okay the inner glow we change the blend mode the blend mode should be normal we change the opacity to about 40 percent and then we change the color to black so hit OK and the size should be 13 so that's it yeah okay that's it for the first text layer now we go to the second text layer Okay, okay, let's uh, move to the second text. Just duplicate our first text and let's change a few settings of it. First, uh, toggle this down and then go to the layer styles, double click on it and turn the eye off for every setting we do in the first text. Then we go to our ramp effect and delete that. We don't need that for now. And let's add another effect. Uh, I'm searching it in effects and presets. It's called CC Radial. <coughs> oh, here is it all ready. CC uh, Radial Fast Blur. Okay, let's apply this effect to our text. And let's change the settings of it. The center should be 640 by minus. 5319 hit enter and the mount should be 19 so this would work well okay uh, make sure you change your text color from gray to black hit okay and that's it for our second text okay now our third text is uh, a duplicate of our breeze 2 text okay so let's duplicate that and let's change the radial amount to about 2 and that's it basically okay now let's duplicate our text again and change the amount to 73 hit OK that's it okay and that's for our shadow so these shadows would go down to make a kind of a 3D effect to this. Okay, now let's duplicate our layer again and delete the radial fast blur. Delete that for now. Okay, so uh, make our text here, make it green. So we can see it a little bit better also make this line here uh, green so we notice that this is our 
first uh, text layer. Okay, now let's bring an effect on it. Effect generate ramp. Let's change the ramp settings. The first uh, start of the ramp should be 640 by 279. Uh, the second, uh, the end of the ramp should be 640 by 510. And the colors, the first color should be like a gray. And the second color should be like a brown, something like a brown. Uh, let's see something like this this should be okay for now okay now um, let's go to our layer styles double click on that make the eyeball here and then make the eyeball for drop shadow and inner shadow drop shadow is here and inner shadow is here so let's change these settings Go to the drop shadow. Um, let's change the blend mode to normal. That's already okay. Then the opacity should be okay. The distance with three should be okay. So that's everything work well. Uh, let's change the angle to 107, so 107. And go to the inner shadow it's down here. Normal white is okay. Opacity, opacity should be 100, and the angle should be 90 degrees. So that's basically it with our text. Now, um, to give uh, it a more uh, better look to our text, uh, let's create a new adjustment layer, and we call this CC for color correction. Let's add the curves to it. Go to color correction curves and let's play around with that. Okay, now you can play around with uh, the curves like you want. Um, in this case, I will bring here the highs a little bit higher, something like that. Then go here, something like this, and make here the darks a little bit darker. So, so okay, this text now will look nice. Okay, now you can pre-comp our text layers, uh, leave the color correction uh, on this comp, and you can, for an option, you can do the text to fan send effect uh, on this text or whatever you want. Try it out, uh, play around, you can do some camera movements, and with you, when you play around with the colors of the shadows, of the text layers, whatever, you can do some really cool effects, and you, I can show you how it looks like. Your text can look like this, oh, let's remove the action save, or like this, or like this, if you play around with the settings, yeah, you can do some really cool text effects. For example, this, this one, uh, the the text behind is a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, you can do some pretty cool texts. Okay, so try it and play around with the settings, and you can see uh, we can create some pretty cool text effects here in After Effects. I hope you enjoyed this video and my tutorials. I'm sorry for my bad English. Um, yeah, if you like my tutorials, free, feel free to visit my homepage or my Facebook page and make sure to subscribe on my channel. Okay, see you next time.